Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're looking at more price predictions today for some of the starter team, OPB, some of those more starter squad type players that you guys have been sending me in your starter squads that you are planning to buy in the first couple of days or first week or so inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. So I want to take a look today at some of the price predictions for some of these players who might be a bit cheaper but great starter squad material, but also still overpowered, still really good cards that you want to get in your starter teams, uh, and that might be really good in FIFA those first couple of weeks. So I'm going to use some uh, knowledge of last year's FIFA, knowledge of just how more, just how more overpriced the Premier League could be this year, and meta cards from last year, what their hype could be, and that's all going to factor in some of these price predictions today. As we look at these FIFA 21 cards, now we do have the top 1,000 ratings. I'll leave the link to that down below if you want to look at all these ratings in the description. But first things first, Alan St. Maximin, right? The Prem has tons of left mids this year, left wings. We've talked about this. This guy is still going to be expensive. He's still going to be very overpowered. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Last year, this car, this car was on the right side. He was extinct at 10,000 coins for a week almost, um, and then got upgraded, went up to 20K, and then quickly fell down after that. But... I think this year, this card moving to the left, he is a bit more well-known. I don't think his price is going to be that different, though, because, yes, he is the five-star skills, four-star weak foot. I don't think he's going to be anywhere over thirty-five or 40,000 coins, maybe a little bit more than last year, but not a crazy high amount just because there's so many left mids in the Prem where people could go ahead and buy somebody like Zaha, buy somebody like Bergwijn, buy somebody like Marcus Rashford, who's going to be a bit more expensive than St. Maximin, but there's so many more options on that left side. Felipe Anderson, another one um, that I think this card might, his price might be kept in check a little bit because of all those. So I'm saying somewhere between 30 and 40 K as the peak for St. Maximin. And then just like we saw last year, his card is going to fall off, but I feel like it's going to maintain its price for a bit longer than, than he did last year. Because, I mean, last year, it took him a month to go from 10K all the way down to 3K. I would I would still expect this card to be somewhere around the 5, 6, 7K range uh, a month after the game comes out. So that's St. Maximin. A lot of people are wanting him in their squads. Let's go to Eder Militao. Another card, just like last year, almost the same rating. Slight downgrade on this card. He's going to be very meta again. He's going to be very good. Great links. Real Madrid, Brazilian. Last year, his card at the early game for the first two or three weeks, actually about the first month, he was around starting 15,000 coins all the way up to about 28K, you know, fluctuating on those weekend league uh, days when you see these cards kind of boost up the most as people buy them for the weekend league and the first couple weekend leagues. I think this card's going to be about the same price this year, unless the pack weight changes for whatever reason. He's probably going to be somewhere around that 20 to 30K range inside that first month of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, just like he was last year, just because he's such a very well-known center back. This is an interesting one, man. This guy has got so much freaking hype, and this is like, I'm going to talk about a few cards that we're going to look at some of these prices. This dude is in so many concept squads, it's ridiculous. Marcus Llorente with one of the biggest upgrades, three-star, three-star, great-looking CDM or center mid card, in FIFA, like the in-game the in stats look fantastic as well. Agility and balance, you're not that worried for a CDM center mid. A lot of great links for this guy, being Atletico Madrid and being Spanish. I think this card is going to be used for the first month or so of foot. It all depends on if he's very good in game, but I think the hype alone is going to drive this card up over 20, 25,000 coins in the first two weeks. If he sucks in game, because we haven't really used this card before, like he's not really ever been considered good enough to be meta um then if he's good enough to 25k in the first couple weeks if he is that good maybe he goes to 35,000 coins after that but he's 82 rated so he's going to continue to get packed people are going to move on to better players i don't think this guy goes much higher than 25k in those first couple weeks but he has a lot of hype man i've seen this card in so many concept squads it's ridiculous let's keep moving to another very popular starter squad player Klosterman. All right. This again, I talked about it on my live stream yesterday. This card reminds me of Joe Gomez from last year going to like six, seven K during the EA access time period. And then as everybody else gets on the game in early access and the full game coming out, 
This guy is not going to be staying in people's teams for long. They're going to upgrade to Lucas Hernandez, Jerome Boateng, cards like that, center backs in the Bundesliga, uh, or even better center backs than those cards. I think this guy will probably settle around the 10 to 15K range. I think he's going to be that expensive. I see him in a lot of concept squads. He's getting a lot of hype with his pace, with his work rates, with his build in game. Uh, he'd be pretty good at, you know, six foot two with 82 jumping. He can probably get up for a lot of those balls. If uh, heading is a thing that you have to try to defend against, you need taller defenders, he'll be decent at that. Uh, so yeah, 10, 15,000 coins in the first couple weeks for this card and then dropping off sharply after that because people are going to be upgrading to guys like Diego Carlos to Joe Gomez this year, 83 rated. Again, Lucas Hernandez, Boateng, you know, those more upper echelon center backs in the game. People will be upgrading past the card like this in like two weeks, man. That's how fast things move in the beginning. So yeah, 10 to 15K for that card. I don't really expect anything higher. Here's another card that I see a lot, right? I see a lot of Zakaria and Babu and Akanji little triangles. That's like one of the most popular triangles that I think I've seen. This card is very interesting because last year he had almost the exact same stats. Like he got a plus five upgrade on his overall card stats, 78 to 83. And he got plus twos and plus threes and even some plus ones in his individual stat upgrades. So I think this card is almost the same as his 78 rated last year. Pack weight's going to be a lot different. He's going to have a lot of hype this year as well. This card, Zakaria, last year was even 6,000 coins for that first week until the full game come out, came out. I'm, I'm expecting this guy to be about double that this year, 10, 15, 20,000 coins at his very max. And that's only because his rating has gone up and that's going to make his pack weight less. That's the only difference I see between this card this year and his card last year, but it is going to make him a bit more expensive. And people are going to use this card for more than just the first two weeks. Like this card has the, a good enough stat kind of quality and stat categories to probably last people a month or so as we get into like Black Friday and that kind of thing. So he's not very linkable. That's the only issue. So if you're trying to upgrade your team, it's going to be kind of hard unless you're running a full Bundes side with Zakaria. But again, probably somewhere in between like 15, 20,000 coins is where I see this dude at. Uh, you know, he has Swiss. And he's Mochin Gladbach, so it's still kind of hard to link unless you use the, that triangle trio that a lot of people are going to use. But he's going to have hype early game. He's in so many starter teams. Now, maybe moving up a little bit in terms of what players' costs are going to be at the start of the game, Gabriel Jesus. We have less Premier League strikers this year uh, in the game than we had last year. Think about last year. We had Lucas Moura as a striker center forward. We had Rashford as a striker center forward. They have moved to left mid, right mid, those two guys. We had Sun. He's a left mid this year. We had Zaha. He's a left mid this year. That's kind of opening up the territory, I think, for some of these other Premier League strikers. Now, of course, we do have Timo Werner that has come in. We have Rodrigo that have come into the Prem with transfers. Um, I expect Gabriel Jesus to be more expensive this year because of Brazilian links especially to a guy like Lucas on the right side, who I think is going to be very OP. A lot of people are going to try to use him. And uh, maybe on the left side, maybe not like a, a Felipe Anderson would be a good link up to a Gabriel Jesus. And Allen, of course, being a center mid link up. A lot of people are doing 4-3-3 for their starter squads because the links are easy. And Gabriel Jesus will get a nice strong link to the new uh, Everton Allen card, which we'll talk about in a second. So I'm thinking this card, he was 40,000 coins last year. I'm feeling 50, 60, maybe even upwards of 70,000 coins at his peak in the first couple of weeks. This is going to be a card that, like last year, he's going to follow the same trend. If we take a look at his card from last year, uh, he started low and then obviously boosted up big time. He was 19,000 coins day one and ended up being around 40,000 coins inside that first month before he started to really go downwards in price. This is probably what his graph is going to look like this year as well, uh, but I think he goes higher. I think he starts off at like 25, 30,000 coins and then ends up at like around the 50, 60, maybe even 70K range if he's really OP in game. The only problem is, and this is a, a, a very common problem with Premier League strikers in FIFA 21 so far, is the weak foot. Only a three-star weak foot. Martial's got a three-star weak foot as well. That's kind of this this card's main competition, I guess you could say, as like the middle tier striker between still pretty meta, not that cheap, but not, you know, Aguero or Bamiang or Werner or any of those guys. So again, 70K max for this card, in my opinion, in the first couple of weeks. Now, let's talk about Allen, right? Because Allen is in a very interesting scenario, right? This card is probably going to get a ones to watch, which makes his gold card some, something that a lot of people are going to want to invest in 
in those first couple days of web app and of EA access before the OTW promo actually starts early game. So this card's price is going to get artificially inflated in those first couple of weeks in the first week, honestly, on basically a week from yesterday when the web app is going to come out on Wednesday of next week. When the web app comes out, you're going to see this guy's price probably around like the 20K range, maybe 30,000 coins, um, at, you know, as with his transfer, even though he's lower rated, he's still a really, really good card. And a lot of people are pumped to use him as a midfielder this year in the prem as a CDM. He's a FIFA favorite from years past. And I think that's going to continue on this year, especially being in the Premier League and being Brazilian. Last year, he peaked at 68,000 coins, 68K for this card. Uh, last year. Now, of course, again, his rating is lower, but if he gets a ones to watch, it all depends on what his price max and his price range is set to because I could see a card like this if EA are not smart and they set the max price at 50,000 coins, he could be extinct at 50,000 coins in that first week as people try to invest in his card. Could he go higher than that after a price range update? Um, if they update the price range while his OTW is in packs and this gold card is not getting supplied, I would expect his ones to watch to be probably like 200,000 coins or so because he's playing for Everton. Of course, he's a midfielder, maybe not going to get a ton of informs. So maybe 150K for the ones to watch. But then his gold card's probably going to get up there like 70, 80K if EA would update the price range, in my opinion. So this card is going to be a big question mark for me. If you want to buy this card for your team, I would say either buy it as early as you possibly can before his price gets too inflated um, because going out of packs for possible ones to watch. Or wait until it kind of comes back down after that first month or so, and then you'll be getting him at a much more reasonable price. But Allen's going to be one to watch, no pun intended, uh, <laughs> just with his price in terms of a lot of demand for that kind of card, a lot of great links. And of course, being in the Premier League, everybody wants him. And that just causes some natural price inflation on a card like that anyway. So moving on, another cheap beast, Richarlison. And why is he a cheap beast this year? He got that position change, all right? This is huge. A five-star weak foot striker in the Prem. Now, of course, his statistics aren't wowing. He's not going to be the most meta, of course, off the bat. But his team of the season last year in FIFA, I think he had an inform as well in FIFA 20, got a lot of publicity and a lot of hype, and I think that's going to continue this year as well. This card's going to be very good in the early game, I think. And I'm honestly, I don't feel like I'm too far off here. I'm using Callum Wilson as an example from last year. Callum Wilson is always expensive. Last year, he was like seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 coins in the first couple, in the first week or so of FIFA 20. I kind of expect this card this year to be even more than that. I could say, I could very easily see 10K in the first couple of days, maybe even rising like 15, sort of inching towards 20K. Probably that's too much though, because why would you pay 20K for this card when you could go pay 50K for Gabriel Jesus? and get a lot better dribbling and, and pace. But again, people love that five-star weak foot. So I don't think 20K is anywhere out of the realm of possibility, depending on some of the other Brazilian links. Again, that's a perfect link to, to Allen. That's a strong link to Lucas, a strong link to Gabriel Jesus if you're running a two-striker formation. So Brazilian links are huge once again for this card. I've seen him in a lot of starter teams. Don't be surprised if he goes 15, 20,000 coins in the first week or so, honestly with the amount of teams that I'm seeing him in and just kind of the place that this card has in FIFA as like a good budget, cheap Premier League striker uh, in this game. Moving on to maybe another more higher tier card, Diego Carlos, uh, 83 rated this year. Got a lot of hype last year with his road to the final and of course his team of the season. I'm expecting this card fully to be over 50,000 coins off the rip. I know it, that seems a bit expensive to me, but I feel like the hype, him with Militao together in a back line is what a lot of people are going to be trying to upgrade towards. This is a card's price that I would see gradually rising over the first two weeks, maybe even rising a little bit for the first weekend league, staying high for almost the first month or so before starting to kind of come down as an 83 rated card. Because where do you upgrade from Diego Carlos, right? You upgrade to a Varane, you upgrade to Ramos, and you upgrade to Langley, maybe. Uh, depending on how OP they are in game. This card is very OP in game. It's got a four-star weak foot as well, which is honestly pretty impressive for a center back. So I'm a big fan of this card this year. I think he's going to be 60, 70,000 coins. Uh, 75K would be like kind of my more max price for him in that first month. Uh, but I think he's going to be very good in game and he's got the great links. A lot of people are even talking about linking him to that Kunde card uh, or to uh, the right back, Jesus Navas, right? Is that the guy? Uh, maybe that's right. Uh, but anyways, 
Uh, that's going to be like a 75k card at the max, in my opinion. Who's the Navas right back? What is the Navas? Is it Jesus Navas? Yeah, Jesus Navas right back card, which by the way, I don't think this card looks that good to me, but he has pace and he's got defensive uh, stats. He does not have, he does not have physicality though. That's the only issue. 39 strength, dude. This guy's a toothpick. All right, so don't use Jesus Navas. Use Kappa as your right back if you're doing La Liga uh, until maybe we can get you Carvajal Hall or something like that. But uh, yeah, see, a lot of people are using this card. This is a thumbs down for me, bro. This one's a thumbs down for me uh, because of that physicality. Anyways, uh, I think that was it, actually. If I was looking through some starter teams right here. Jao Felix, again, I want to kind of talk through this squad really fast. Some more starter players. Carrasco is probably going to be 15, 20K at the start of the game, specifically because this link right here. These two guys together might run you almost 40, 50,000 coins between the two of them. I could see it because Carrasco is looking spicy. It's that link to Yorente. Uh, that's very, very good. Coutinho is going to be interesting this year as a position change. He's going to be more expensive. I would not be surprised if that's like 25,000 coins, maybe even 30K as well. Maybe even more than that because of Brazilian Barcelona links. Jao Felix is probably going to be 15 to 20K as he was kind of last year. Uh, Joaquin Correa will be a decent price. This is going to be a good all-around box-to-box midfielder. This Hernandez card, Lucas Hernandez last year was crazy. He really boomed up because he got a once to watch. A lot of people weren't expecting that. This year, he'd be, he'll be a little bit cheaper in my opinion, but he's going to be a great card uh, for investing in as well. Kunde is going to be cheap right away and then... Uh, gonna stay cheap probably five six thousand coins with this card and he's gonna get hammered with supply when the full games comes out and he's gonna drop down a ton but i really just wanted to bring you this video today to talk through a bunch of prices so if you found it helpful if you found it insightful and in helping your fifa 21 early game preparation smash a thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy it again please do that i would greatly appreciate it comment down below if you would disagree with any of these price predictions or if you want to see any more videos like this there's a lot of cards out there that you guys are seeing uh, and of course, if you're building your squads, you might want to know what they cost. So I can give my, my two cents on those if you wish. Drop those guys in the comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel for new boys. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.